now, hold on to your hats, because here comes another mind-boggling instalment of Creative Sweet TV with host Mike McHugh. Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Sweet TV. Now I've been on the road for quite some time now and I'm back in the Melbourne studio and we've got a great new little recording area where I can do my podcast from and e-seminars and whatever else we're doing. Today we are looking at one of my favourite applications. Well, in fact, my favourite application of all, which is Photoshop CS4. The tip I've got today is amazing. As a matter of fact, the very first time I saw this, I was pretty much blown away and thought, hang on, is it, what's the time? Is it April the 1st? Because someone is having me on. It's ridiculous what you can do with Photoshop. I'm going to show you. So the problem is uh, we've had for so long um, people asking us, oh, you know, can you put some more background in that image or, you know, uh, we need some extra background. So the one that we've got here today, and you can see um, uh, on screen here, we've got um, some swimmers, and, and you can also see it. Uh, there's some uh, a boat, a cruise ship in the background, and a large white area on the right-hand side, and we would like to expand that out. I will also note that uh, we have some extra uh, layers. Um, we've unlocked the background layer there, so you can see that there's room to move. We, we need to expand this out. Now, the dodgy way of doing this is just hitting Control T on the keyboard, okay? So we do that and then and then drag that across. And if you're a real hack, then that's probably fine, you know? But I know that you guys aren't all, all hacks. You'd like to do it properly, I'm sure. You like to do it properly. So there's a better way of doing this in Photoshop, and it's called the Content Aware Scale. Photoshop will be aware of what's going on around it and then scale accordingly. That's what this is all about. Here's how you do it. You go to the edit menu and down to content aware scale. Content aware scale, and there's a shortcut there. Uh, Apple option shift or control alt shift C for content aware scale. Just go ahead and click that. Uh, we'll bring it up. And now when we expand this across, if I drag this across, all of the graphics remain intact. And if you're gasping by now, I won't be surprised at all because it is absolutely amazing. How does it do it? Don't ask. It just does it. I think it could possibly be magic. And of course, our swimmers are going to be much happier about this situation because they remain in their normal size. We keep getting bigger, but anyway, that's uh, that's exactly what's going on there. Let's try another uh, another image and see, in fact, what we can do there. Before we do, you'll notice all my open documents have got tabs across the top of them as well now, so that's kind of cool. Okay, content aware scale. So here's a picture of me surfing with my buddies. Actually, the waves aren't big enough for me. I like the bigger waves, but there we go. Here's some surfers with long boards ready to start uh, surfing. Again, if we stretch this out, these guys will get stretched and, and, and that's no good at all. So what we do, edit, content aware scale, and we'll drag this one across and have a bit of a look. And it's kind of cool, it's kind of really cool, except you can see here that the board has been made a little bit longer. Okay, and that's cool. Riding a long board is really quite cool, but uh, in this case, we'd like to leave it the same way. So let's try something else. What I've gone ahead and done, and if I, if you just allow me to bring out the channels panel here, and I'll just drag that out onto the screen, all we've done is created a really quick selection around the surface, okay? So a quick selection around the surface, use the lasso tool, use the quick selection brush, whatever, okay? So then when we go ahead and want to expand this out, all we do is this, select the layer, we've got the layer there, okay? Got the layer selected, go to edit, Content Aware Scale, as we've been doing so far. And now we can choose to protect, that's right, protect whatever channel. And I call that channel Dudes. I call everything Dudes. Channel is called Dudes. And then when I drag it across, it will use that channel to protect those guys 
and that is truly amazing. We can stretch this out um, and we can even change the height down like that and it's going to keep all of that important information in proportion. In proportion, that's what it's all about. Okay, so we'll cancel that off now. Last one, my favorite, which is the swimmers. Okay, so this is a photo I took. All we're gonna do is unlock the background layer by double clicking it and press okay. We'll just zoom out a little. And now we'll say edit, content aware scale. So we do that right away. There's the content aware scale, that's looking good. This time we're gonna do one extra thing and that is to protect the men. Okay, it does protect women as well. It's actually skin tones. So if we click on this button, protect skin tones, then we, then we content aware scale. This is truly amazing actually, have a look at this. We can squish these guys right over even right down and they do not get squished at all. Wow! I bet you're thinking, wow, that's pretty amazing. It's really amazing in fact. That is our content aware scaling. So we can protect bits, we can even collapse over little bits. Oh, I wish I had more time to show you more content aware scale, but we should do that at some other point as well. Look forward to the coming episodes of CS4. As a matter of fact, I've got some sweet tutorials coming up, which means I'm going to be using my 3D glasses, which I'm sporting a pair right now. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks again for tuning in to Creative Suite TV. It's been great seeing you all again. Hope you like the new studio. It's certainly a lot of fun, but I will be out on the road again soon, but hopefully I'll get to do a few more episodes from in here. It's so comfortable. Thank you.